Today, we are unboxing the $63 Wiki Project Med Foundation Internet in a Box. Let's see what we got. We're fully expecting this to be a pretty basic device, but depending on how the Internet in a Box is set up on it, it could have quite a bit of potential, especially for the price point. So it looks like we got a nice little brochure. Uh, look at that in a bit. Here we've got the actual Internet in a Box device, 3D printed case, it's got a port for power and SD card, but that's about it. Some login and instructions on the top, the brochure, looks like we have some cool info about the project, uh, information that they're working on, the global outreach, it's kind of cool, but no actual instructions for the device. So keep that in mind, you might want to get those off the web and print those out. But let's take a look at what's in the actual 3D printed case. So we've got Pi 02W. Pretty basic, no frills. Not even a heatsink. That should be okay for this thing. Uh, I might actually look at upgrading that. I'm gonna use it in austere conditions. But SD card wise, a SanDisk Ultra. Pretty good. Legit little SD card, 256 gigs, so you got some decent storage on this guy. Clip that back in, put it back together. Let's get ready to power this little guy up and see what we're working with on the software side. Now on my computer, I'm going to search for Wi-Fi. Here we've got internet in a box, so I'm going to connect to this. Yeah, it's not password protected, I know, but we'll connect and... Alright, looks like the captive portal opened up a browser window on its own. So this is all the preloaded content on the device. Going into the medical wiki, let's check it out. Click around a little bit, let's look at maybe some medications. And, okay, let's see if we can search for something pretty common and see if that'll bring it up. There we go. Common antihistamine, anti-allergy drug. Some good info, could come in handy. I'm going to scroll around a little bit more. See what we've got down here. Oh, interesting, canvas. Nothing like a little medicinal marijuana. Take the edge off, the time is needed. All right, I'm gonna back out of here. Look at Wikipedia in English. Get this loaded up. Should be pretty standard Wikipedia. Got our splash page right here, all the big topics. Let's see if I can find something to click on. Uh, make up my mind. Just make sure everything works, okay. That's good. Looks like Wikipedia is working as expected. But let's try this search out and see how helpful this really could be. They search for an obscure nugget of information something like a wood gasifier it might come in handy if there's no other types of fuel hey there we go wood gasification hope I don't need to use one of those at any time but if I do this might be helpful right, I'm gonna back out okay, let's look at the Spanish version of Wikipedia Spanish version is working as well if I'm not gonna lie, this is probably going to be one of the first things I delete and try to free up some space. One of the great things about this being on the Internet in a Box platform is we can actually delete modules that we don't want or need and free up space to download things that we actually do want and need. But in the meantime, we'll check out the Wiki Voyage module. And this is pretty cool, pretty informative. Um, Let's look at something also a little obscure, like Burkina Faso in Africa. And there is the warning. It is a kind of a tumultuous location. Travel at your own risk. In my experience, it's not too bad, but I travel a little differently than most other people. So, a little bit of warning. All right, looking at the maps module. And this is loading a little slowly kind of to be expected 
We are running on a Pi Zero 2W, so we don't have a lot of horsepower in this machine. But it is loading, and we'll give it some time, see if this thing can catch up and render the maps that it has on board. So it's a little more of a novelty, in my opinion. I don't know how helpful this will really be, other than kind of having a basic globe in the digital realm. I think probably the best we are going to get with this is some major roadways like highways and some of the larger cities. Now if you were running this on a Pi 4 or 5 and had some more RAM and some more CPU juice, these maps get pretty good. Fortunately, since we are working with a Pi based system, all we need to do is take this micro SD card out and throw it in one of those higher end Pi's and we've got that performance boost that we need, if maps are something that we're really looking for. But moving on, let's check out the TED videos. I was really surprised to see all of these TED videos available on this device. These videos cover an extremely wide and diverse range of topics, and scrolling down to the bottom, we can see just how many pages of videos there are. Massive amount of videos here. So that also creates a problem if we want to find specific topics that we're looking for. I don't think we're going to be browsing through all of these videos. So let's try the search button, or search window out, and see what we get. Ah, invalid request. Now this is a common error. I see this a lot on the qx based systems. So this is not unique to an Internet in a Box product. You'll see this on other things like GridBase's Pocket, anything that's using QX. So we can type in our search prompt and select from the drop-down for a specific video that we might be looking for. That works pretty well, actually, even if it is a bit clunky. But that search functionality is something that PrepperDisk has worked to improve in their product line. That's one of the many user interface improvements you'll find on their products. More refinement and better user experience. So now that we've kind of looked through all of this, there is the media wiki down there at the bottom. You can check that out. This is a kind of a niche application. Uh, it's designed to let you build and publish a home page or like home website of sorts. So moving on, let's get into the admin panel. So this being internet in a box, the user has control over their device. The login was the standard username and password as published in the internet in a box documentation. Looking at the admin console for the configure server, pretty basic. We can see what's installed, and we can also use this screen to add some things, some functionality, if we need it. Going on down, we have the default configurations. But this is cool, we can see dual use of the internal Wi-Fi adapter. So we could actually connect this to Wi-Fi and download new stuff that we wanted. That keeps us from having to plug in a Ethernet adapter, since all of the extra ports are covered up with a 3D printed case. Just looking through some of the other tabs and other configurations, here we can see most of the memory on that microSD card has been used. Very little space is left. They really maxed that thing out. Now if we go down, we can check out the ZIM files that are there, and we can see that Spanish wiki zim file, about 30 gigs, so if I did delete that, that frees up a good amount of space, and we can pack in a lot of custom stuff into that amount of space. Pretty cool. Let's look at what else we've got going on. The clone server option, this is pretty handy. This lets us duplicate and back up our internet in a box. So again, for this price point, it's kind of cool you get a pre-built internet in a box, and you now have a functioning server that you can be duplicated and reproduced. So you can build on that and build a bigger box if you wanted. A Pi 4 build with higher performance, but that gives you that ability and not have to do everything from scratch. So if you're having some problems, man, 63 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. You get a functioning internet in a box, a Pi, SD card, ready to rock and roll. There's also a help tab at the top just in case you need it. Well that about wraps everything up. 
$63 was the price with shipping at the time of this video. If you're in the market, check it out. Maybe just a good gift for that prepper who has everything. Until next time.